Hello Internet, I'm David and this is the Pursuit Vlog and this is Q3 Day 2. Um, if you didn't see the first day, make sure you go back and click on that. But uh, just got out of a session on neurology and how brain functions, especially in regards to faith and religious experiences and just the interaction um, and the connection of the biology and the neurology when it comes to faith. Fortunately, I didn't get to finish listening to the lecture because I'm going to meet with my friend John here in just a second from the channel Jesus is Dangerous. If you haven't subscribed to him, you need to go to go and do that. Uh, we are actually getting to interview one of the speakers on what it means to be human in a digital age, um, how faith plays out in online communities. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes and I'll see you soon. Well, I just got out of a podcast for Asbury Theological Seminary. I actually got to be interviewed uh, talking about um, online media. Uh, there was a guy here that was presenting that was talking about being human online, and so we got to do uh, a podcast together uh, for the seminary and talk about church planning. Anyway, uh, the psychologist that I was in the session for earlier, he finished up by saying that there is no God spot in the brain. Uh, some psychologists uh, point to certain areas of the brain and say, ha, huh, see, this area is stimulated when a person is encountering uh, God or a religious experience. And uh, he went through and debunked a lot of the research and, and proved that uh, it's just your whole brain is stimulated. It's not just one part. And the reason that that is significant is that uh, these psychologists, they point to just one part of the brain being stimulated and saying, see... Um, it, it's not really a religious experience. It's just this area of the brain is firing more than the other parts and th this feeling that they get and they attributed that to uh, religion. The next session I went to uh, dealt with uh, neurology and theology and how theologians, we tend to uh, view humanity in a dualistic perspective that you, humans are both physical and um, there's a portion of us that's intangible, like a spirit or a soul. Uh, but neurologists only view humanity with just physical, just basically just the mind and how the mind controls everything. Uh, and they were talking about how some theologians are trying to move to a, a theological model that um, is just one. It's not dualistic. It's just, you know your body, soul, everything that is talked about in the Bible is just basically your body. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, I think you you dismiss a lot of the Bible by saying that your person doesn't have a soul that's just all in one. But I do appreciate the fact that theologians are looking to science and saying, all right, I'm not giving up what I believe, but maybe the, the words that we've used and, and the terms that we have attributed to things can be better understood this way, backed up by science. And they were also talking about how some scientists uh, are, are moving in a way of looking at the way theologians uh, view the world and having and performing tests to see if science can will and can back that up. I'm going to dinner now. I'll be back for the last session and let you know. Well, I just got back from tonight's keynote session. It was fantastic. I'm not even going to delve into it uh, really this evening because I don't want to ruin it. I, I just It deserves its own video. Uh, it was given by a biologist on the human, the human genome and the implications that it has for faith. Uh, it was just fantastic. So stick around for tomorrow's video, which will be on why I agree with Richard Dawkins. Never thought I would say that. Um, but just a quick... A uh, bit. Uh, tonight we talked about the human genome and evolution. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you realize that I'm not opposed to evolution. I kind of lean that direction. Uh, there's just so much scientific evidence for it. Uh, but I respect those who, who don't who don't agree with that. Um, but something that was cool in the human genome being tracing it back. Um, uh, women have a mitochondrial DNA uh, that they have been able to trace back. All women have it. Uh, trace it back to 12 individuals. Uh, that were uh, all lived in a small area uh, together in Africa uh, in close proximity. Anyway, and they said that they could even uh, whittle that down to uh, even fewer, uh, possibly in the future. Just thought that was interesting in light of um, Christians believing in evolution and how that comes about. But if you... Um, if you like this video, if you like this topic, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, especially in light of uh, tomorrow's topic, 
Uh, go back and watch yesterday's video if you haven't. Uh, make sure you leave a comment. What, what are your thoughts about this, this, this idea of blending um, faith and science and how we should not be afraid of each other? Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless.